Hi lovelies! If you are still with me, we're just going to practice this method together. Okay? Um, I know it's a little bit tricky, but I was doing it with some children today. And once you have cracked it, you've cracked it. So stick with me and we'll figure it out. The first thing you do is you correctly lay out the calculation in your book. Okay? So I'm going to do it correctly with my 6 underneath my 2 in the 1's column. Now straight away I can see 6 is more than 2, which means that I don't have enough 1's to take away the, t the 6 straight away. Okay? So I'm going to draw a line which is 10 squares long in my book next to my calculation, just like this. And the biggest number that I'm going to need today is 52. We're not going to count bigger than 52 because for takeaway we are counting backwards. So I'll write 52 at this end of my number line. Okay. How many ones does 52 have? How many ones? Two, that's right. So when I'm jumping back, the first jump is going to be two jumps long. And that will take me back to 50 because it takes off the two ones. The fifth, the five tens doesn't change, but if I take off the two ones, it will change to zero ones. Have I taken away six yet? No. I've taken away two. So let's count up from two on my fingers. I've got two in my head. Three, four, five, six. I stop at six because I am only taking away six. How many extra jumps did I do? Three, four, five, six. I did four extra jumps. Four and two is equal to six. So that means I've taken away the right number. But I will need to count back four times from 50 to help me. 49, 48, 47, 46. Another thing that I can use to help me is my number bonds. I know if I'm taking away 4 from 10, I will be left with 6. But I just need to remember that if I'm counting back from 50, I will put 4 tens. Okay, not 5 tens, because if it had 5 tens, it would be bigger than 50. And I am counting down. So 52 take away 6 is equal to 46. And of course, I am putting my answer in the right columns. Tens and ones columns. Let's try this again. I want you to do this one in your book. We're going to do this one together. So the first thing we will do is we will write out the number correctly on this side. Pause the video to write the date and the learning objective at the top of your page. And then here on the left, we're going to write this 64. Take away 9. Okay? 64 take away 9. And then, at the side of your calculation, draw a line that is 10 squares long. What's the biggest number that we're going to need for this calculation? The biggest number is 64. So I'm going to write 64 on the end, and I want you to write 64 on the end of yours. Now I know that the number that is 10 lower 
10 smaller than 64 is going to be 54 because I have taken away 1 from the 10s column, okay? Do that quickly, pause the video, start again when you're ready. I'm taking away 9. Do I have 9 ones? No. How many ones do I have? 4. So let's take away all four of those ones. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to take them away. And that means that I will have no ones left, but I will still have six tens. Okay? Have I taken away nine yet? No. So I'm going to keep counting. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. What could this number be? Firstly, I'm going to check that it's going to be the right number. How many jumps is this? One, two, three, four, five. Is five and four equal to nine? Yes. So my answer must be right because I've counted back nine times. Oh, it's the number that's one more than 54. That makes 55. And I'm going to do it like this. Have you done that on your number line too? Have a quick go and make sure it's right by looking at mine. If you're feeling really confident, for example, you know that you need five more jumps, then you wouldn't need to count them like me. You just do a big five jump, oops, and write five on it. Last time. First, lay this one out correctly on the left. Make sure you don't squash it up to the one before it. 73 take away 5. Then on the right, draw a line that is 10 squares long. The biggest number we need for this calculation is 73. So I put 73 on this end. And the number that is 10 less than 73 is 63. Because all I have done is taken away one 10. Yes? Now I want you to pause the video... And have a go at this by yourself. First, take away the number of ones that 73 have. And then, take away any extra jumps that you need to, to make five altogether. Pause the video. Do it in your book. And then when we do it together, I want you to check if you did it right. Okay, well done, guys. Let's see if you did it right. So I'm taking away five. Do I have five ones? No. How many ones do I have? Three. One, two, three. Draw a jump. That's worth three. That will take me back to 70, won't it? Okay. Have I taken away five yet? No. I've only taken away three. Now I know that five is two more than three. So I'm going to do a jump that's worth two. I know two and three is equal to five. But if I wanted to check, I can see it's one, two, three, four, five. Hmm, what number goes here? I can either count backwards from 70, or I can count upwards from 63. 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68. Now, of course it's 68, because if I think about my number bonds, 8 is 2 less than 10, because 8 and 2 make 10. So if you know that 
And then the easiest thing to do is you take away the number of 1s to 70. You take away the rest of the numbers that you need. The number of 10s would be 1 less because you have taken 1 away by exchanging. And then the 1s is the number of jumps partner in the number bonds. So 8 and 2 is a number bond. 5 and 5 is a number bond. 6 and 4. And 7 and 3. Can you see how the 1s and the number of, ten, the number of jumps in the second group always makes a number of 1 to 10? Have a go at this maths in your book. I know it's tricky, but I believe in you. Have a go in your book. Lay it out just as I have, just as we've talked about. The sum laid out correctly, one number per box on the left, and your number line, 10 squares long on the right. There are two challenges here as well. You can cut them out and stick them in your book to answer after you've done all of these questions, or you can copy them if it's easier, whichever you prefer. Have a good go. Well done for being superstars. I can't wait to see the math that you do today. Bye, everyone.